I wanted to do a quick video about mastoiditis. That's an infection of the mastoid bone. This is the mastoid bone here, this bone here, which is like a honeycomb type interior. So it's a bit like an aero bar on the inside. Lots of little sacs of bone, uh, sacs of air within the bone. And you can get an infection, an acute infection of that area. And it can travel through all these little sacs of air inside there, filling up the bone. And then it can erode through the bone and come out through the side here and start swelling up this area here. It can be acutely painful. Can happen in young children. It's very scary because it's very close to your brain. So I wanted to give you a little bit of information about some of the signs and symptoms of people with mastoiditis because you need to go and see uh, a doctor straight away. Go to the emergency department or A&E uh, as soon as possible. The first thing is that it's pretty painful. Um, it's, you've got this swelling in this area here. It's not very nice. It doesn't always hurt but it can be quite painful. It's typically because inside the ear um, you have what's called an otitis media. So there's an infection behind the eardrum. So if you look in the ear, it all looks fine. It looks normal. But when you get to the eardrum, it looks white or it could be looking red because there's an infection behind it. Um, and because there's pus collecting in that area there, and that pus is connected to this bone here. The other thing you see, particularly when it starts spreading out to the um, bone and the surface of the skin here, is that you lose this crease behind there. So there's a normally quite an uh, obvious crease, a line uh, between the ear and the side wall of your head. You lose that, it becomes blunted. So it, instead of it being a, like a sharp valley, like a V-shaped valley, it becomes a U-shaped valley sort of thing. Uh, and actually, instead of your ear sitting as it does like this, this ear becomes what we would call outstanding. It comes out like this and you get more of a sort of uh, an ear that looks like this. It looks different, asymmetrical to the other side. If you look behind it, you lose the crease and you get often redness around here as well. It hurts to press, and but if you're very horrible, you can actually press and you can feel bone compared to the other side. But when you get to the area where the pus has gone through the bone and it's now collecting between the bone, bone and the skin above it. Um, not so much the skin because actually there's lots of layers. Uh, it's called the periosteum. There's a bit of fibrous tissue sitting uh, between the, uh, the bone and the, the muscles and the, the soft tissue, the fat and the skin and things like that. So this layer that's just above the bone, the abscess, the pus has gone through the bone, cracked open and starts spreading out underneath there. So you get this sort of collection of pus spreading underneath so it sort of lifts up that area there and actually if you press quite hard on the bone it's not very nice particularly for children but you can suddenly feel a spongy bit where you can't feel bone quite as easily as before because a the bone is disintegrating um, and needs uh, all this infection taken out but um, b uh, i hope i said a before <laughs> but b uh, you can feel the collection of pus um, making the surface spongy uh, so you can't feel the bone quite as easily. So you can easily demarcate it. When I was a trainee, I remember thinking, that's rubbish, I can't feel anything. They all feel the same. But when my consultant, oh God, what was his name? Derek Bosman. He was great, great hair. Um, works in Middlesbrough as a pediatric consultant, fantastic surgeon. Um, when he showed me, actually, yeah, you can feel it. And the more you um, practice. This is for the doctors out there, junior doctors. You can easily demarcate the sites and you go, all right, this is clearly mastoiditis. And it's clearly a periosteal abscess there. Let's take him to theatre. We've got to get this sorted as soon as possible because you don't want it to spread to the brain, to the nerves of hearing and things like that. I'm running out of battery. I'm so sorry. I've got to go. But hopefully if you see that, go straight to your doctor, go to A&E and we'll get all that infection taken out and you should avoid any problems. Do take care. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.